open it in our packet, um, and I don't know what it is, but um, it just might be sticking <laughs> yes. of Amanda made us some dilly beans out of uh, beans that she grew herself. So thanks, Amanda. Be excited to try these. I've never had these before. Thanks for the bubble wrap for Amanda. <laughs> I'm out here looking for my boots because everybody has their own boots around here, but everybody likes to wear mine for some reason. Unfortunately, it rained and now they're full of water out here on the porch. Does anybody else have that problem of your boots going missing? Today, I'm going to work out in that jungle of a garden. Oh, it's so overgrown. This camera is really dirty too. It's been a little while since we filmed anything, so things are getting dusty around here. But I'm going to work in this garden, get it cleaned up. We'll see you in a little bit. So we have a ton of really amazing looking tomatoes, but they're not ripening. And I guess maybe it's because of the weather, it's not been hot enough, but I mean, it seems like it's been pretty hot. But they're all just falling over. There's so many good ones. So I'm gonna tie these up today, put a couple more strands of the wire that was on our cucumber plants, put it over here, get these off the ground. But I'm kind of wondering, because I just don't know, if tomatoes don't ripen up, will they just rot um, after a while? Because it's taking a super long time for them to ripen up. And I've never had that problem before. Um, but they're looking amazing otherwise. I, I just really wish they would turn red so we could use them in the kitchen. But check this out. We have this plant that's overtaking our tomatoes right here. It's supposed to be over there, but it's kind of crawled, made its way over here, and it's a loofah. I think it's a loofah. I'm pretty sure it is. Isn't that beautiful though? It's huge too. So I've never grown loofahs before and I kind of forgot that I had planted it, but super excited to see what it'll look like. And if you're wondering, we haven't had too many problems with bugs. We do have some squash bugs on our zucchini, but they've not affected it at all. Um, we've picked plenty of zucchini and it's all doing great. Um, and those, those, um, uh, Japanese beetles, I know my in-laws have been emptying their traps like twice a day, but we've not had any, I think I've seen maybe three, uh, Japanese beetles, so I feel like I'm standing really in a jungle. I mean, look at all these sunflowers. These sunflowers are so tall. Look at that. They must be like 10 feet tall. It's crazy. We got our seeds from Baker Creek and I never expected them. I thought they'd be like my height. So this is pretty cool. I love looking at them out the window every day. All right, well, well, sorry about that. Um, I've been working for probably an hour or so. Uh, the little boys are wanting lunch, so I'm getting ready to go in and get cleaned up and make some lunch. I think it's looking pretty good. Got the green beans weeded for the most part. Um, just pulled all that up and laid it back down for suppression. We got cucumbers taken out. Um, he'll have to pull up those those um, steaks because I can't do it and then let's see over here we've got the tomatoes all trellis um, I moved all the squash except for that leaf of gourd um, I don't want to take the chance of breaking it off the vine so I'm just gonna leave it but all the other um, squash vines I got moved back over I think what we'll do is plant some more green beans over here um, we have two 
plantings of green beans over here, but we go through so many, so I really want to be able to can some. I've just been freezing them as we go along. So I really want to get some canned and put down in the cellar. So we'll plant some of those along here. It's really warming up. I think we're supposed to be having some severe weather tonight. So I'm just trying to get as much done as I can before then. I did a video last year on saving tomato seeds. So we'll put a link in the description for that. Today I'm gonna to show you how to save cucumber seeds. It's pretty much the same process. Um, some seeds are different in the, in the way that you save them for next year um, than others. Cucumbers, tomatoes, those kind of things. Um, there's a couple extra steps, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is what a cucumber looks like when it's gone to seed, when it's ready for you to save its seeds. Um, I did not know that they turned orange. I think that's pretty funny. This is about the normal size cucumber that we get. This is one that um, is ready for seed. And then sometimes you get ones like these that are twins. You need a glass of water and a sharp knife. The first thing you do is you just cut it open. Mom, you want me to go get you a spoon? Sure, you can get me a spoon. Okay, so, um, this is really important. Okay. Um, this is really important to um, save your seeds because them are, them need to have seeds so we can plant them next year so we have, we'll have more pickles. That's right. Good job. All right, go get a spoon. This is what it looks like when you open it up. There are rows and rows of seeds. I'm just going to scrape out the seeds. Yep. They're in this jelly kind of substance. And that's what needs to come off before you can actually save them. If you were to just pull them out of here and dry them, um, they'd probably get all moldy and gross. You wouldn't be able to use them for next year. So we got to burn off that coating that encases all of these seeds. Like that's lots of seeds. I know, there's a lot of seeds. They each have this little jelly encasing them. It's like they're all in these little pods. I'm just going to grab all this stuff and put it in the jar. So in a few days, you'll notice that there's this white kind of um, mucky stuff floating on the top. And that's perfectly fine. All of your seeds, when that coating comes off, this, the coating will float to the top and the seeds will fall down to the bottom. So at that point, you'll want to strain it out, uh, rinse them around a couple times, and then you can lay them flat to dry. And that's what we're doing today. There's this moldy stuff, like swabbly, and um, you kind of see right here, um, it's kind of a little bit like it's wet and because it's been in here and the juicy stuff. Yeah. And it kind of like you butter and you take in, but no taking. It's so fun doing this. Some way down in the bottom, mm -hmm. you know, like some in the cases, yeah, right there. We're gonna get a little bit of hair on here. <laughs> I don't think it's hair. Maybe, maybe a fairy was in here. Maybe? Do you like cucumbers? Yeah. I, I don't like the pickles. Oh. But I like cucumbers, but we're picking them, mm -hmm. saving the seeds. Scoop up all of these. Wow.